Hi everybody, I'm Rachel from Rachel Cooks with Love. In today's video, I'm going to be making some delicious oven-baked steak fries. They're big and crispy on the outside and real soft from the inside. Lots better than frying them. Not as fattening, not as greasy. Perfect for when you're going to make hot dogs for the family or burgers or you're going to grill steaks outside or just because. They are super delicious and easy. Let's get started. Now these are the potatoes that I'm going to be using and I try to get them all about the same size. Now you can use red potatoes, the gold potatoes, or russet potatoes. Now I didn't have four gold potatoes that were about the same size and I didn't have four russet potatoes that were about the same size. So I got one russet and three of the gold. But as long as they're about the same size, it'll work out. So I'm going to start by cutting them this way right here. Now I usually just try and get them as best I can right in the middle, see? Now I'll lay them down like this and I'll go right in the middle again. And the same with this side. Now this one I'm gonna cut it right in the center, just like that. And the same with this one, like that. This one and this one. Now, as you can see, they're all about the same, and this is the size that I like, but you can cut them any size that you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same to all of them. And this is my last one. As you can see, I've got them all cut about the same. So I've got a bowl of water right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put them into the water so they don't get dark, and at the same time, they're gonna be releasing the starch. Then we'll be rinsing these. I'm going to go ahead and throw this water out because as you can see the water looks real murky. I'm going to go ahead and rinse them two or three times until the water looks a lot clearer. So now I'm going to throw this water out and we've rinsed them really well. And I'm going to go ahead and fill this bowl up with water and just let them sit there in cold water for just a few minutes while I prepare my seasoning. Now I'm going to start preparing my seasoning in this bowl. I'm going to go ahead and post all the ingredients and amounts right here on the screen. And I'm also going to put them below in the description box so you'll know exactly what I used and how much. I'm going to start out with my onion powder. Now my garlic powder. I've got some Italian seasoning right here. My pepper, you can use as much pepper as you want. This is my chili powder. My smoked paprika. Ooh, you don't wanna leave this out because this is just amazing on these steak fries. I've got some breadcrumbs. I've got some Parmesan cheese. Now this is the one that you use on your pizza you know, that comes in that little tub and then you just sprinkle it all over your pizza? That's what this is. I just love the taste of Parmesan cheese on the steak fries. And here's some all-purpose flour. And my salt, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it for last. Now I'm gonna bring it all in together like this. See? And you wanna mix it really, really good. Okay, now I've got a big bowl and I'm gonna dump all this seasoning into this bowl. Now I'm gonna put in my olive oil, just like this. And I'm gonna dump it in here. And I'm gonna mix all this up really good together, like this. Now if you have to use a little bit more olive oil, you can. And I like the olive oil because it's got a high smoking point, and I think that's good on the steak fries. See? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set it aside. So here I have my potatoes. Now I'm going to dry them up really, really good. I'm just going to use a kitchen towel. Now you want to make sure that you dry these potatoes really good before you put your seasoning on them. 
you want to make sure that you take off as much of the water as you can you can use a kitchen towel or paper towels whatever you want I just think it's a lot quicker like this so you want to dry them up really good just like this so I've got my potatoes nice and dry took all the water off now I'm gonna go ahead and put them into this bowl where I've got my seasoning put them all in here And I'm gonna start moving them around like this until they're all coated. See? I can smell all the ingredients in here. It smells so good. If you have to put in just a pinch more olive oil, you can. See, I wanna make sure that they're real nice and coated like this. Now I have my salt over here and I usually leave the salt for last. I don't want to say put in a lot of salt because I don't want it to be super salty for you, but be a little generous. So I'm just going to play it by ear and you do the same when you prepare them, okay? So I'm going to start by just sprinkling in some salt like this as I move them around. And, and be sure that you coat them really well like this. I've salted them really well. Moved them all the way around like this and made sure that they all got some salt. So you do the same. And that's good like this. And I've got a cookie sheet right here and I went ahead and put a piece of aluminum foil. And I've got my Pam spray that I'm gonna spray here. And this one is the baking made with flour, but you can use the regular Pam spray. It just so happens that I have this one. And I like to spray it really well like this. I usually use this when I bake cookies or cakes. Now I'm gonna get all my potato wedges and I'm gonna put them right here on the cookie sheet. Now you wanna make sure that you give them a little space in between. Don't get them really crowded because they'll get steamy instead of crispy. And you don't want them to get steamy. You want them to get nice and crispy from the outside. So I usually stand them up this way. I think you can see it better like this. You see? Now I like to put my potatoes up this way because then they can get really nice and brown and crispy like this. And then the heat just circulates all the way around. So I'm gonna go ahead and line them all up just like this. And be sure that you give them some space in between so that they don't get steamy on you. And this is the last one. See? Now I'm gonna wash up my hands. Now I've got my oven set at 400 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and bake them anywhere between 40 and 50 minutes. And I'll see you in a little bit. Oh my gosh, here they are. Look at these. They are still sizzling hot, look at that. Now as you can see, this one fell over. And I'm glad it fell over because I wanna show you the other side. You see what happens when it falls over? It gets real toasty. That's why I like to keep them up this way because then it's just the bottom that toasts, you see? And they're perfect out here. Look at this. Now I like to get finely, finely chopped parsley like this. I like to get a little bit and just put it on top. I just think it looks pretty. I put it on top like that. If you're going to serve it to friends or to your family, you can do that. You can just put it on top like that. And it just looks so good. Now I've got some ketchup. And I've also got some ranch dressing. Because I love ranch dressing. See? Then you can dip it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. They are super delicious. And they're beautiful. And they're perfect. When you prepare burgers for your family, or you grill a steak out, or you make hot dogs like we are, and you prepare these, oh, you're going to thank me for it. So these are my beautiful steak fries. They are super delicious. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up.
Share with your friends. Send me a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you. Mmm.